I spent a little over half a million dollars in his first 10 years out of pocket mm -hmm. in medical that wasn't uh, traditional enough to be covered by insurance or co -pays. Welcome to the Business of Parenting podcast. Tune in as we discuss the principles of successful parenting as a business professional. Here's your host, Jason Harris. So, uh, you know, everything was really well planned out. I mean, let's get the house, let's get a certain amount of money in the bank, let's get a certain amount of travel behind us, you know, before we're married and after we're in and all of the planning stuff. And then decided to get pregnant and within six weeks we're pregnant. Okay. <laughs> but what we didn't plan on, uh, and I wouldn't trade them for anything, is... Son number one, Max Stearns, born New Year's Day 2000, first millennial baby at our hospital, Meese in Dunedin, Florida. Uh, turns out, had a stroke during childbirth mm. somehow. And Max was a few weeks early and uh, has mild autism, this is what we believe, and cerebral palsy. Now, Max didn't walk or speak until he was five. So we really, 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 really didn't know what we had. And God knows 20 doctors told us, you know, he'd just end up in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. And that would be it. So, you know, one piece of the parenting, I mean, I, I love your, I love this topic. I love this show that you have. Love this chunk of the Jason podcast <laughs> universe. You know, we talk about parenting. We talk mm -hmm. about, we'll get into, you know, the managing leadership and coaching of kids or our own state or boundaries between work and family, all of that stuff. But in this case, um, it turned into what would you do for your kid? Yes. Um, in my case, you know, outside of insurance with you name it from you name it, you know, every holistic from food allergy to hyperbaric chamber to yeah. immunologist in Hawaii to mm -hmm. a special Thera suit with elastics all over it so Max could feel his body in space that I almost sent my wife to <laughs> Poland with him and turned out someone here was doing that technology. I mean, like, all, cause what would you do? Yes. Uh, I spent a little over half a million dollars in his first 10 years out of pocket Mm -hmm. in medical that wasn't uh, traditional enough to be covered by insurance or co mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. And, um, and by the way, before I come across as a martyr or anything like <laughs> that, I mean, my whole position every year, because I was spending enough on medical to write it off on taxes and I made good money mm -hmm. and you have to get past a certain number to write it off. So I made a lot of money and still spent a lot. I spent, Looking at the first 10, 11 years, I think my lightest year was about 18 grand in medical. My heaviest year was about 55,000 U.S. dollars, mm -hmm. not your dollar. Thanks. So real money. Real money, not the uh, On medical. Money. And, I, and I never had an awareness of it. Like I never, if I would have gone into any year saying, okay, you're going to need to spend this, I would have said, oh my God, how am I going to pull that off? But where I noticed is when I was just adding up receipts for taxes mm -hmm. and and it strictly took me to gratitude. It was like, thank you, Lord, for giving me the ability, the talent, the energy, the opportunities, the whatever to pull this off. And thanks for giving us this kid that you thought we could uh, manage this with. But it was like literally Jason carrying him around until he was about five. And I remember during a three down here in Florida, three hurricane, three hurricanes over three or four weekends. Yep. And we keep getting the house ready for the hurricane coming and getting the dealership ready for the hurricane coming and moving all the cars that'll go into the shop into the shop and the shutters and all of that business. And then they wouldn't come, you know, like that's one frustrating thing about, well, we don't want to complain when we don't get hit by a hurricane. Uh, but the false alarms, when you see the spaghetti model on the weather, mm -hmm. but during hurricane Ivan lights are out in my house and Max comes walking up and he says, look, like, look, I'm walking. Wow. That had to be something. Was that just that just mind-boggling or what? Oh, I mean, like you know, like 
hitting lotto, right? It was just <laughs> hit in the lottery. <laughs> you don't know if it's going to happen. Like, yeah. cause everything that we did remember every, when I talked about all that medical spence, everything that we, it wasn't like we chose a big lump sum, like let's throw this at him. Yes. It was just another thing that we found we could try with him, including the poor kid had, you know, a cyst on the cerebellum that he had removed. So he had brain surgery at 11 months. So on top of unrelated to his condition, anyone can have that. Uh, just through a lucky MRI, checking them out. We found this thing and that turned into emergency brain surgery. But everything that we did, we kept saying to ourselves, is this going to be the thing where he's going to walk or he's going to say something mm -hmm. or, or, you know, we, we were doing sign language with him. We got into signing because he couldn't speak and he had a, a talking board. I want, you know, lemonade. I want to go outside. You know, he'd push the buttons on there so we can communicate, but we just thought, that was our life with them and everything that we did we were looking for the magic of course thanks for tuning in to the business of parenting podcast with your host jason harris don't want to miss new content be sure to check out the full podcast library at strategywithjason.com to stay in the know remember to like comment and subscribe happy podcasting